Up next, we got to swatch, boo, we gotta swatch. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today we have a haul video, and this one is a little hodgepodge of stuff because we have some high-end, we have some drugstore affordable products, we have some hair, we have some jewelry, we have some nails, a little bit of everything in this video, so I'm pretty excited about it. I also have some more stuff from the cosmetics company store. So we have some sale stuff. We have some expensive stuff, but hey, your girl is celebrating a little bit. My training has been going well and I decided to reward myself. So before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So you know, every time I upload and we're going to jump right into this haul. Okay, so I'm not doing this in any particular order. I have it all laid out on the table, so we're just going to go from left to right. We're going to start off with Natasha Denona. I picked up some stuff that I had been eyeballing, but I didn't want to pay full price for. So first thing I picked up is this Puff Paint Liquid Blush Serum. And I'm going to need to get my makeup wipes because I am going to do some swatches for you guys. I picked this up in the shade Bloom. So this is the darkest shade they had, I believe. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Honestly, I just picked this up because I've really been liking liquid blushes lately. And I love the Rare Beauty one. And I was kind of wondering if this was similar. So this is the packaging. Super cute. And then let's go ahead and swatch because it says it's a... Serum. Oh, that has a lot more coverage than I expected. That is really, really pretty. Great shade. I like the shade a lot. Kind of feel like, y'all know I always do this. I'm going to see if I can get a little bit on the back of my brush from my hand. Back of my brush. On my brush from the back of my hand. No, that's already setting down. So I don't feel like that did much. Maybe a little bit but I just wanted to see. So I think this shade is very pretty and yeah, this is my first one from this brand. So she's gonna come upstairs with me so I can try her out more. Next, this was actually, I guess, a free gift with purchase because I didn't buy it. It's a single eyeshadow in the shade 70P Cool Plum. I don't know if you've tried any of her singles. I didn't know she made singles. But let's see what she looks like, if I can get her out of the box. So little bitty cutie right here. That's an interesting shade. It's like a brownish purple. Let me go ahead and swatch her. She is a, I think I would call this kind of like a satin. That's the shade there. Definitely a cool tone. And you can see that it's pulling purple. What happened? A lot of pigment on my finger. Not so much when I swatched it. I know swatches don't always tell the truth. So can't really go by that. But you can barely see that swatch. So I feel like this would probably be a really cute crease color. So I'm going to also try this out. I don't think you'll be able to see it if I do it now. So we're not going to do it now, but I'll keep you guys posted on that because that swatch did not, <laughs> that did not make me hopeful at all. Up next, I have eyeballed this and I finally pulled the trigger because it was on sale. This is the Bloom Face and Glow Palette. Y'all know how much I love Natasha Denona Face palettes. I have the Glam Face palette. I also have her big $88 ones that went on sale. Citrus and Daria, I think are the names. This one is smaller, super cute. And this is what she looks like. So those are the shades there. And I just thought these shades were really, really pretty. And I feel like they will be flattering with my skin tone. The top two, there's a, oh, they have names. So this right here is the Cream Glow Base. Then this one is the Cream Blush. You know I love that shade. And then we have the Glow Extreme. And then this is the Glow Duo. 
So I'm gonna swatch all four. Oh, that blush feels so good. That is really pretty too. So those are the four shades right there. This first one is the Cream Blush. Super, super pretty and very pigmented. Then this is the Cream Base, the Glow Cream Base. That is really, really pretty. Then this one is the Glow Extreme. Also gorgeous. And then this is the Duo Glow. So it kind of looks like a duochrome pinky peach shade. All of these are gorgeous and I cannot wait to put them on my face. Up next, I don't know why I'm so excited about this because she is not new, but she is new to me and I've heard great things about her. I picked up the Biba palette. You know, I just, I feel like I've wanted this in my collection for a while and I got this palette and the next palette together in a bundle and they were super discounted. So I felt like it was worth it. Now, do I need this? Because I have the Glam palette, I have the Sunset, I have the Bronze palette. Like, <laughs> let's keep it real. Barbara needs no palettes, but I just, this is gorgeous. <laughs> this is gorgeous. And I don't know why I never picked it up before, but these are the shades right here. It is a neutral palette, but the fact that it has this black in it, I think this is gorgeous and I just I never picked it up I'm not gonna swatch this that would be a little excessive for me but I just I don't know why I always saw this palette and I heard people talking about it and they said it was good they said it was beautiful and I finally just let my FOMO get the best of me and I decided to pick it up the other palette that I got with the combo, I guess you can call it. I love how she packages her stuff, taking her out of this box. This one was kind of just because. because I thought about picking it up when it first came out. This is the Circo Loco palette. And then I decided not to because of how expensive it was. <gasps> no, one of them's broke. Mer. Let me press this back down real quick, Lord. How did that break? Okay, we're all right. We'll be all right. Um, why didn't this have like a plastic cover or something in it? So, oh, it did and it's stuck up there. This is what it looks like. This shade was cracked across the bottom, but I just pushed it back in and she seems to be okay. Thank goodness. So, oops, sorry, blinding y'all. Um. So yeah, she looks like she's all right. I saw swatches of this and I don't know. It was the only other one that I saw in the combos because they had the Trio Chrome. I tried that palette out, I didn't love it. But I saw swatches of this and thought it was pretty and I just, I got it, that's all, that is all. I wanted it and I got it. So now she can be added to the collection. So now we are moving on to Pat McGrath. I had a gift card. I did see that little mini cutie patootie palette. I didn't know how many it was. Look how small this is, y'all. Now granted, she was only $25. I don't think, I haven't watched any reviews of this. I just saw how it was priced very low, but like, really? Like this is smaller than the blush. I did pick up a blush. So I'm gonna just show you the packaging for that as, I just dropped it. Lord help me, I'm too excited. This is the blush, this is this new eyeshadow palette. So that shows you how small it is. Now let's pray she's not broke because I just dropped it. Whew, okay, we are right. She's purple, okay, and I love purple. So that already answered that part right there. I don't know if there's a difference in the formulation of these. I'm just swatching the three at the bottom. Ooh, I like that dark one. So those are the three shades at the bottom right there. And we'll go ahead and swatch them. That is Gorge. I thought it wasn't going to be great, but okay, I'm going to shut up because now I'm happy. <laughs> yes, I freaking love. I want to go ahead and swatch the other three now. Got one, fingers still wet a little bit. The middle one, which I hope is going to be a good transition shade. So these are the other three shades right here. From the top, that is gorgeous, kind of goldish, but we know Pat loves her golds. 
That is the transition shade. And then this is the other here. So those are all six shades. I think this is gorgeous. And for the price point, if you haven't tried Pat McGrath's shadows and you like purple, I think this is definitely worth it. So now we can look at the blush. I did pick up one of her new blushes. This is the Divine Blush Duo. And I got it in the shade Night Bloom. I do have two of her other blushes. And I picked this one up because I think... I don't remember what I had, but I think this one is a little bit different from what I have. Please don't be broken. Ooh, oh, my heart. Be still my heart. Yes, very different from the others that I have. I have the... What's the names? Venus... Bronze me? I don't know. I'm going to put them on the screen for the blushes that I have. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And I love that one's like this super red. That is beautiful. Those are the two shades right there. Very different. I should have put these. Eh, we're going to swatch them down here. So here, that is the red shade. Look at that pigment. Y'all. Oops so gorgeous i don't think i have a red blush like like that so that's another reason why i picked it but i think this is gorgeous i definitely don't regret buying this i don't regret anything yet so far but i just wasn't sure you know sometimes you see pictures and you think things are great and then you get them and you're like yeah that was a waste so far we are batting a thousand now because i had a gift card i needed to spend needed to spend $100. So I picked up another of the Dark Star mascaras. This is one of my favorite high-end mascaras. I have a tube open. I have a small tube and I might already have a backup. But listen, I think these were on sale. Yeah, this was like 30% off. So that's why I picked up one of these. And then I also picked up these cuties. These are the Love and Lust Gloss Duos. I do have some of Pat McGrath's glosses, Bronze Venus, and I have one of the kind of special shade ones. I hate this little sequin stuff that they put in there. Now I have a mess to clean up, but do these say what color these shades are? Flesh Fantasy and Flesh Six. Okay, I have like three Flesh Sixes, but they're gorgeous, so I'm not mad about it. And these are small enough to go in my purse. Look how cute this is. You know this is a conversation starter. If you pull these out, out with somebody, they're going to want to talk to you and ask you what it is. So just show y'all what they look like. Like, look how cute. Like, look how cute that is. So this one, I think is, I'm pretty sure this is Flesh 6. Now, this is horrible that they don't say it on it, but I'm pretty sure. So we'll go ahead and swatch her. Flesh 6 is a very pretty... Just kind of like natural shade right there. Oh yeah, it does say it, my finger was in the way. Yeah, that's Flesh 6. And then this is the other in Flesh Fantasy, more of a neutral, which I can probably put on right now. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't even think you can see that, but we're gonna put her on. Even though I have gloss on. Yeah, that goes right with what I'm wearing right now, so. Super gorgeous shade. If you love Pat's lip glosses or haven't tried, great way with this little duo. So that's it for the Pat McGrath. Not too bad. I only had a hundred bucks, so I stayed pretty much within my range. Next, super, super, super excited. Okay, so Blend Bunny Cosmetics. I have the Surge palette and I haven't even tried it yet. But the colors are gorgeous, and I don't even think I swatched her. Y'all listen, don't come for me. I love eyeshadow. If they are pretty, if the shades look good, if the color story speaks to me, it doesn't take a lot to convince me to buy it. So this is, be careful, her dollhouse palette. Now, I saw this, and I wasn't sure I was going to pick it up but I had a coupon for 25% off. It was either like Easter or thank you or some special thing she was doing that I saw on Instagram. And so I picked it up and y'all, this is so pretty, like low key. It kind of gives me spring vibes, but then there's some dark shades in here that are so grungy. 
that I feel like it could be like any time of year. This row right here, all these darks, they almost look like this is a black. This is a dark, 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 super, super dark gray. This is a dark brownish gray. This is a purple. This is a purple. This is a brown. So they are different, but they look kind of similar. Then these are gorgeous transition shades here. These would be gorgeous lid shades if you want to do a matte look. And then these up here and down here are your shimmers. I kind of want to swatch just because I've never even swatched her formula. Okay, so we're going to swatch this blue up here. Oh, these feel so creamy. Ooh, swatch the screen, of course. Yes, also... Okay, these are very soft, so you have to be careful. I'm pressing this back in. Have to swatch this one down here. So this green one feels softer than this one. I don't even know, but this is freaking gorgeous for a smoky eye. And one more. That purple kind of looks duochrome. Am I tripping? Dress up. Let's go with this one up here, just because we need to do something different. She's kind of a topper. So this is, let me see if I can get these names right. Harley Quinn. Oh, that's the one I said could be a gorgeous smoky eye. This is that purple imaginary. Ooh, I love shades like this. This is the green Chantilly, which I feel like this one was softer than the others. Y'all, greens like that speak to me every time. She swatched very close to the purple. But right there is the green. Then this is the blue glass eyes. Also very gorgeous. Look at that foil. What are we talking about? And then this is pretend. If I can, let me just put my hand down and swatch this right. Which was the shade at the very top. She kind of looks, it's not a duochrome, but I don't know. It's kind of topper-ish. But listen. You see her, you see them. Gorgeous shades, I cannot wait to try these and this makes me even more excited to go back and try my Surge palette because that one was a lot more grungy and I just haven't had a chance yet. To be honest, I have not been wearing a lot of makeup lately so I cannot wait. Once I'm out of prep, I'll be able to get back into my routine with filming but it's just, I've been so focused on my training right now that I haven't even really been filming that much and I miss it. So we have a lot of stuff to play with, but this palette is beautiful. I also decided to pick up a pair of lashes and some brushes. These lashes are probably gonna go in a giveaway because <laughs> I think these were the smallest ones and they're still huge. This is in Virtues. Y'all, these are so big. I'm gonna take them out the pack so you can see without the plastic in the way. Like, we're not, who are we kidding, Barbara? Where are you going? These are huge. They're cute though. I might try still. <sighs> oh, they look so pretty though. I might try them. I need to get over it. I need to figure out a good glue. If you guys have any recommendations, I don't know if it's the glue or if it is me because I'm just not doing it right, but I have trouble getting the big ones to stick. Also picked up her brush set just to try it out. These are five brushes and I think they are, are they labeled? Yes. Awesome. Love it. So this is the B5. No, it's not labeled. It just says blend bunny cosmetics. This is Pretty much a domed crease brush. Then this is the B4, which is a little bit smaller, but also a crease brush, which you can do detailed work. Come on camera, there we go. Then next we have the B2. So she is smaller and domed. So this could be great for the crease, but also lower lid, lower lash line. Then we have the B3, which again, these are all synthetic by the way, but I have a tendency to grab synthetic brushes. I feel like that's just what I'm used to using. Um, this is also a small domed brush. 
And so is this one. I don't really see that many different, that much difference in these. This is the B1. So I don't know. I just use my brushes however I want to use them, regardless of how they're labeled. But yeah, I just wanted to try them. I'm going to go ahead and put these in my little cup right here so that they can get some use. So that is everything. And then it came with this cute little pouch. I'm not going to keep this. I have enough pouches. So that's everything from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. And next, we're going to move into, what do we want to look at next? Let's go ahead and look at the drugstore stuff. I ran into Walmart and I saw this cute little palette. This is the Pro Fusion Matcha Milk Tea Palette. Of course, it's green, so you know my tendency to gravitate towards greens. I picked it up, I put it back, and then I picked it up again because I just thought it was cute. And Pro Fusion actually has some really good shadows. I was trying to see if this is like plastic or cardboard. I don't know, but we're going to go ahead and swatch these real quick just because I want to see. Not horrible, but I mean, after swatching Blend Bunny on the other Pat McGrath, I'm like, mm, I got to swatch that one. I'm not swatching this little shade right here because I feel like that's barely going to show up. It's like a peachy shade, but I swatched all the others. So this is the matte green. This is the darkest shade. That's not bad, actually. That's another green. Ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. Can you see that's kind of a duochrome? Interesting. It has a red base, but a green flip. And then that is the shimmer shade at the top. That's better than I thought it was going to be. Interesting. All right. I didn't have high hopes, but you know, Profusion does have some good shadows for the drugstore and they are very inexpensive. So I can't wait to try that out. I also picked up this Uoma Beauty Floss Gloss High Shine Lip Gloss. This looks exactly like the Pat McGrath Flesh 6, almost identical in terms, well, maybe not. Maybe Pat's a little more red, but I feel like, yeah, Pat's more red. This is more brown. I'll just swatch it. I'm not going to try to put it on, but this is the shade actually. Yeah, so this is Pat right here. This is the Uoma right there. So you can definitely see that doesn't have nearly as much pigment it just looks like a gloss with a little bit of tint to it and it's brown but it feels oh that kind of has a smell a strong smell to it but i mean it says it's high shine more than anything else my lips are already shiny you know what <laughs> oh yeah see that is definitely more on the brown side but i love shades like that I don't know if you can even see that. I can see it and I think it looks great. Definitely shiny. I picked up another set of lashes. These are the Salon Perfect Extension Seeker 3D Curl Multidimensional Tapered Tips. I picked these up because I like how they are kind of spiky. These are long, but I don't know. <laughs> Listen to what I do. I'm in the store. I see something. I think it's cute. I think I need to have it. I grab it and then I get home and I'm like, are you really going to use that? So we will see. These are long, but I like how spiky they are. So we're going to try them out. The rest of these are nail products. These I thought were just super cute. These are the LA Color Nail Frill High Gloss Artificial Nail Tips. These are in neon. So I hope you can see the detail on these but they are like a neon orange and then they have the marble accents. I do not go to the salon to do my nails ever. These are actually the set I have right here, the Dashing Diva Gloss Gel Palette. These are nail strips. I have these on right now. And I just, I love these. These are soft. I always cover them with a gel clear coat and then i put them under the uv light just to harden it but i use these i use the color street nail strips as well love those i just placed another order have those coming in and i also picked up this set right here y'all know me and my blues these i picked up because of these two right here i love this accent 
It is like a marble. Uh, this is kind of marble-ish. This is marble too, but I just love how different they are and I feel like they accent each other very well. So this is when I'm doing my nails, this is what you see. I don't really paint my nails. Sometimes I'll do my dips. Sometimes I do have some polishes that I need to try again that are multi-chrome. But I also picked up, did I get these from Amazon? I feel like I did. I think I did. I just picked up a set of coffin nail tips. Sometimes when I am doing sets like this, I will use tips and just to make my nails look longer and then I'll put these on top. And I like to pick up the set that have a bunch of nails and these are softer. I would never wear these by themselves. I don't even know what this brand is. It says Una Jella. Um, I have a square set like this already and I use those all the time. And I wanted to try out, I can't even open this if I break my nail. There we go. Um, I wanted to try a different shape. So these are the coffin. I do tend to like the coffin shape better. Why can't I open you? So these come just laid out like this. And I think these are super cute. They're really cheap. And you just, I mean, like there's nothing to these. I don't like the super hard ones. These are really thin. You don't wear them by themselves. You just put them on and then I put polish or the gel, the strips on top of it. So picked up extra of these, but in a different shape. But anyway, yeah, so we got these, the orange, then we got these, the blue, and then we got these, the purple, which these two I could probably put together. But that is what I do with my nails because you guys ask sometimes. I also picked up some hair products. This is Gabrielle Union's brand, which I had not heard of. Um, this is Flawless by Gabrielle Union. This is the detangling leave-in conditioner. And then this is the Scalp Soothing Tonic. It says we're soothe scalp and removes product buildup. I wash my hair once a week. It is hard to maintain that when I'm working out, especially during the summer. So I'm always looking for a great detangler. And then this sometimes by the end of the week, hair is itchy, need to put it in a ponytail, but I like to put something on my scalp at night. So I just wanted to see how this was gonna work. Both of these were $10 each, very inexpensive. Hopefully they work well. Up next, I splurged. I splurged. I finally hit a goal that I set for myself years ago, actually, before I got hurt, I wanted to squat 500 pounds. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but it finally happened. And when I did it, I didn't know I was doing it. I just knew the weight was on the bar. There was some weight. And I did it for two reps instead of just one. So I decided to reward myself. I have been looking at this watch forever. And I brought my JBW watch to get some links taken out because it was too big. And I saw this in the case. And the woman, of course, was wheeling and dealing. And she was like, I'll give you 50 bucks off. I was going to pay full price, boo, but thank you. Y'all know how I feel about Michael Kors. I have told y'all I'm a junkie when it comes to Michael Kors. I have a lot of products from the brand. And I finally decided to get this watch. It is rose gold. And it is super blingy. You see all the little stones in it. But I love this one because of the band. I just think it is so different. It's dressy and I just, I had to have it. So, oh no, I didn't realize that the, she left the, I always take, I turn my watches off. I pull the little time, the, I don't know, the dial. I pull this because I don't want the batteries to die. I don't wear my watches a lot, but I just thought this was so cute. It is very dressy, very glam, and I felt like it would be perfect for my watch collection. So this is what the band looks like. Very cute and dainty and detailed. So I finally got a new watch. Up next, we got the swatch, boo. We got a swatch. I showed this, I did a short. And I think I also put it in my Instagram story. I customized my own palette from Lethal Cosmetics. This was expensive. But listen, if you're finally gonna pay for a palette and get to pick every color you want, I've spent 
about no, have I spent this much? I don't know if I've spent this much on a palette. Uh, I did. I did. It was a secondhand buy for Danessa Myricks, but this is my colors that I wanted. Never tried this brand before, so I was like, if I'm gonna try it, I'm gonna get what I want. Lethal Cosmetics. Ask Whitney had a uh, she did a video with them where she customized her own palette. And so I was like, yep, I'm using your coupon code and I want to customize my own. Did I already show? I don't think I showed this. Oh, I don't care. I'm going to show it again. I don't think I did. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, there are, I, you know, I was going to pick some multi-chromes. I was not about to buy a palette from a brand that had multi-chromes and not pick multi-chromes. So this shade here is a bronzer. This is a highlighter. This is a blush. This is a blush. And then these are the eyeshadows. We're swatching them all. Got my shadows. Had to do it. So this first shade here is called Magnitude. So looks burgundy, right? And then if I can get her to flip. Are you seeing it? And eh, I don't feel like it's showing as much. This goes like burgundy, greens. Oh, my heart. So it looks purple, but she just goes so many different shades. So we're going to go ahead and swatch her here. That feels so smooth. Please tell me you can see those flips. I hope you can. Yes, you can. Absolutely gorgeous. This next shade is called retrograde so you see she looks green but then she kind of goes all different kind of willy-nilly ways oh my god i love me a good multi-chrome i just can't help myself that look at that look at that shine okay let's watch her here y'all i'm so in love already and i haven't even put these on my eyes the next shade is, oh, how do you say this? Parsec. She just looks so foily and pretty. And I just had to, I feel like she's probably going to be like a topper. Yes, she is very messy. So this is it right here. Oh yeah. She is flaky, kind of messy, but she goes like pink, gold, Super, super shiny. Next, we have this gorgeous purple to blue. Ooh, don't drop you. This is Exosphere. My heart. I don't even know where it went. Oh, she's okay. Y'all, I was about to shut this video down. Ugh, okay. Calm down. It looks purple to me, but on camera, she's pulling blue. I can't get it. There we go. Maybe you can see it a little bit. I don't know. We're going to swatch her. Lord, my heart. Yes, the shade is so... You see the blue. Now you see the blue. Okay. I love... Every time I will get a shade like that. Purple to blue. My two favorite colors and green. This one doesn't <laughs> flip to green, but green's also one of my favorites. But yes, so gorgeous. Next, I don't know if this one's a duochrome or not. She might be. I think she is. This is Allure Multi-Chrome. So we'll swatch her down here. Yeah, it's a multi-chrome. I just thought that this, yeah, it's like pink to gold to green. It's showing on my finger. And I think it's showing here. I always feel like I can't see them until I'm editing, so I'm just hoping for the best that they're showing. Next one is Dark Matter. I already know the name of this because it almost looks black, but it's low-key like a red. Oh, I cannot wait. Oh, this one just, I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what I would wear this with or how I would wear it. Oh, it feels so good. Look at that. Put her down so I don't mess her up and we'll swatch her here like it looks black right there but oh just in all her glory 
absolutely gorgeous shade and then of course we had to get a green because it would not be me if it wasn't this is nebula so it looks super green but she is supposed to shift to blue oh god i just i love swatches i don't even need to put them on my eye i could just swatch that one is so thick she is thick 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 i hope you can see the shifts Go watch my short if you didn't watch it already. Green. Oh, these colors. Okay. So now we can get to the mattes. Those are all the multi-chrome shades. There was no way I was going to buy just regular <laughs> eyeshadows. So the matte that I got, let's see. We got four, five mattes. Of course, I got a black. Let's see. But we're going to start with this kind of pinkish berry shade. Turn. Mint Terminus. So this is her right here. I needed to have some shades that I felt like could be used with more than one shade of the multi-chrome. So that can go with the pink, that can go with the purple. This next one is Eden. So she is a green, had to have a green. Wrong finger. Forgot I was swatching on this side. So that is her right there. I feel like I will say there were a lot of browns, but I felt like there weren't a lot of deeper shades. Like I wanted a darker green than this and I didn't see one. So I was a little bummed about that, but it's gonna be okay. This next one is Unity. So this one is more of a purple than a pink. So you can see that there. I wanted to make sure they looked different enough because I hate when palettes only have a certain number of mattes and then the mattes that they do have look the same. This next one is kind of like a blue purple called Insomnia. So this is it right here. Ooh, that looks super blue, but not similar to any of these. So doing great. You know, it's hard sometimes when you buy and stuff online, it looks a certain way and then it comes in and it looks different. And then this is the black transmutation. I would have I would have botched that because I was not even thinking anything close to that. And hopefully she is super dark because you need a good black. And it kind of looks charcoalish more than black, but she'll work. So those are all of the eyeshadows. I'm very happy with what I picked. I didn't think I was gonna swatch all these and I started to just do a dedicated video and this is probably gonna be long because I decided not to, but I could not help myself. I had to show you guys right now. So let me go ahead and swatch the face shades real quick. The first blush is in the shade, ooh, these names, Caroline. Caroline with two L's. I got this shade because I was hoping she would be somewhat of a transition shade as well i wasn't sure what i would need as far as the bronzer or the blush so that is what she looks like right there i think that is so pretty we'll put her right here that's gorgeous and i would wear that as a blush have to be light-handed or a transition shade so i like that the other blush this is more of a shimmer and you can see she has some lighter and then darker kind of speckles in it this is called adorned i just put all those together <laughs> we'll put her over here Ooh, that is gorgeous it looks kind of pink but it's like a bright reddish pink then this is the bronzer contour shade in zenith which i feel like is going to be super dark she is we'll put her down there she is very cool toned, very, very cool toned. I was not expecting that. Y'all know me, I always go for darker than I need because I hate when they're too light, but that might be pushing it. The highlighter, I tried to find one that wasn't too, I don't like gold. I want more of a champagne. This, hmm. Uh, we'll put her down here. Mm, she's cute. 
Yeah, that can work. It's not too light. And it's also, honestly, like, I don't feel like it's overly pigmented, so it's not going to look crazy on my cheeks. So that, oh, sorry, Isotope is the name of that one. That's all the shades that I got from Lethal. I think I'm happy. <laughs> I think I'm happy with them, but of course we have to see how they look on the eyes. I'm putting everything back and trying to press it in because I did kind of make a mess. But I love that this is magnetic. You do have to buy your palette separate, but oh, see now how that looks just so black right there? Where she's at? Oh, look at these shades. I can never get enough of a multi-chrome. You will never tell me that these are not gorgeous and that they are not necessary if you love eyeshadow. So this will be in a video by itself. All right, and last but not least, cosmetics company store i don't <laughs> this bag can go but whatever so i just went in and grabbed some stuff first thing joe malone picked up another fragrance this is the wisteria and lavender cologne i was going back and forth between this one and another one i think it had gardenia or something and i was like you know what don't do that to yourself because you never like it I love how this smells. Oh, this smells. I don't smell lavender. Like lavender to me is kind of like that aromatherapy. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this because I don't have anything on. Oh, this smells so good. I feel like it's like a clean summer scent. Yeah, definitely glad I picked this one over the other one because the other one, I think I was like, uh, maybe, and then I was like, you know what, no. If you gotta say maybe, these are too expensive. It was on sale, I have my receipt right here so I can tell you. I got that, it's regular price, $145. I got it for $61.63, 50% off, and then another 15% off? I don't even know, but I ain't mad at it. Up next, I picked up the Bumble and Bumble Full Potential Hair Preserving Booster Spray. Helps prevent hair loss for hair that's fuller, stronger, and stays with you longer. Y'all know me, I'm always working on ways to keep my hair growing, keep my hair thick. So anytime I can get products that are supporting that, I'm gonna do it. This was $25.50, regular 60 bucks. So definitely a great steal for this. Next, I picked up the Full Potential Conditioner. Same deal. I didn't pick up a shampoo, did I? Why did I pick up two conditioners? Do I have this already? Okay, let's let's focus. I picked up the Full Poten Potential Conditioner. The price of this was $14.88, regular $35. So I use a lot of conditioner in my hair because I detangle my hair in the shower with conditioner in it. And so I tend to go overboard. I'm very heavy handed. I just wanted to try this one out. The next thing I picked up is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser, Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Conditioner. It says it has six feather light oils to help soften, silk and tame, defrizz, detangle and protect. I feel like I might have this or I have the primer that's what I have. So I don't have this. So Bumble and Bumble is a great higher end hair brand. And this would have been $35 and I got it for $14.87. So super excited about that price. This was a free gift. This is the Estee Lauder travel exclusive sparkle of youth is in your eyes. This is the advanced night repair eye supercharged complex synchronized recovery lots of words free gift how much would this have been regular price 115 dollars. are there two in here yes this is a duo there are two in here so that's why it would have been 115 bucks i got this for free i think i have the small version of this like a little tiny sample upstairs and i already used that so this will be used Next, I picked up this Too Faced Major Love eyeshadow palette. This says it smells like fresh green pears. Doll size eyeshadow palette. This was $12.32. 
This is going to go in a giveaway because I also bought it from Ulta. It was half price. I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what it looks like real quick, but I am not going to swatch it. I thought this was super cute and I feel like you could make a bunch of cute looks with this. I don't smell no pears. I don't know what it's talking about for that, but somebody is going to go home with this. Go home with it. Somebody's going to get this in the mail because this is going to go in a giveaway because I bought two. Next, I picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Sheer Long Wear Makeup. I picked this up in the shade 6C1 Rich Cocoa. Do I need a sheer? No. I don't, but whatever. This is $48. It was on sale for $20.40. I do not like to wear a full face when I'm training, but I do still want to look like I'm put together and I didn't just roll out of bed sometimes. So I wanted to see how sheer this is. It is very lightweight, but being that it's the Estee Lauder Double Wear line, it is supposed to be very long lasting. So... That is what she looks like right there. I think that's a good shade. Go ahead, Barbara. Look at you finally getting it together, matching your shades. So I'm going to let that dry down. I'm not going to wipe it off yet so you can see what that looks like. But again, $20.40. So I definitely thought it was worth it. And she's coming upstairs with me. When I say coming upstairs, that's where I get ready most of the time. So I bring... Some products upstairs that I think I'm going to use more regularly that are easy, no muss, no fuss. And then when I want to get ready, get ready, I come downstairs in the beauty room and that's where everything is. Next, I picked up some MAC lashes. This is in the style A30 and this is B10. I honestly probably have both of these, but I like how wispy these are. And I think these are super cute. These almost look brown. Am I tripping? Can y'all see that? They are definitely lighter than the other ones in shade. So maybe they're going to look more natural. But these were $3.19. MAC lashes for $3. If I'd have known they were that cheap, I probably would have got more. But that's okay because I already have some of these. Up next, I picked up the Bumbling Bumble Semi Sumo High Shine Low Hold Pomade. I love using stuff like this in the front of my hair. I freak out about trying to lay my edges. I don't like the hard stuff. I don't want it to look like it's pasted to my head, but I would like it to kind of stay stick back. So this was super cheap, I feel like I remember. Yeah, $6.80, regular $32, 75% off plus an additional however much I'm smelling myself and it smells good. Um, yeah, so $6.80, this is gonna go upstairs to be used because I need a perm right now and these edges are looking nuts. I picked up a Tom Ford Emotion Proof Eye Color. I picked this up in shade 03 Naked Eye. This was $19.55 and honestly I picked this up because I plan to use it like a MAC paint pot so I picked it up in a shade that will be good to use as an eyeshadow base so that is what it looks like right there and we can go ahead and swatch it real quick we'll put her over there so not a lot of pigment but it will help to even out my eyelid so that it would be cute just for every day it's not too bright but also a great base that is everything in my haul i feel like this video is going to be long but that's all right y'all love my hauls i thank you for watching them and sticking with me until the end let me know what you want to see first i'm i'm gonna tell you right now i want to play with my lethal eyeshadows but i want to hear from you so let me know what you want to see first and comment and let me know if you're excited for the giveaway because i promise that is coming soon Thank you guys for sticking with me to the end of the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.